This is a 60 inch by 5 inch diameter Krypton iodine filled tube filled by Aaron Ristow. Modulated by my high voltage power supply. This thing is massive. Let's shut the modulation off. A single beam, seeing the reflection at the bottom. Power supply is nice because it just automatically throttles the power back. If I essentially short it, placing my hand very close, many other drivers will give you a sizzle on your fingertip. This one works off of resonance and the tuning of the transformer and the tube are known by the software in a sense and it can know when to, when to cut back. See I could just put my hand right there right on it and it's great. It's running at 48 volts DC input. The transformer is on a 3D printed uh, PETG bobbin. Got seven sections with 100 turns of 30 gauge magnet wire on each one. And then in the center is a primary with Litz wire. I think about 20 turns or so of on the primary. About a millimeter of, uh, I forget what the strand uh, setup is on the Litz wire. And then it's wound on top of two ferrite toroids as a uh, center bobbin. Helps improve the inductance of the transformer. And uh, basically make a very small Tesla coil that operates in the, right now it's running around uh, 95 kilohertz full output and then it just shifts the frequency upwards which I can do manually to reduce it and it goes up to about 155 kilohertz it is about minimum output you just want a night light or you can really rage it you can hear the corona on the tube, but I don't like to do it very long. It's beautiful. <laughs> I think this draws about 150 watts. This output. And uh, the peak voltage measured, the high voltage capacitive divider um, shows stuff in the neighborhood of about 10, 10 to 12 kV peak. So it's really not that much with this high frequency. So it's nice. Run like that all day. New addition to the, the shop wall.